In the last monitor review I did on the channel, we took a look at the Dell S2719 DGF gaming monitor. So it's a 1440p, 144 hertz, one millisecond response time, TN panel. And being that it is a TN panel, the color accuracy is not great. Neither is the viewing angle on the panel, but for gaming, it's perfect. Uh, I can pretty much hit 144 hertz in pretty much every game with the 2070 Super. And it's also FreeSync compatible and with the upgrades to G-Sync, also G-Sync compatible. So the 2070 Super and the G-Sync gaming monitor from Dell, it's the perfect combination for gaming. But when it comes to content creation, video editing, photo editing, and content consumption, watching movies, things like that, it's definitely not the best. So I went ahead and got the ASUS ProArt PA278QV monitor. So also a 27 inch 1440p monitor, except not meant for gaming, meant for pure content creation and content consumption with amazing color accuracy, um, leaving behind the frills of high refresh rate and high uh, response time like the Dell, but giving you insane color accuracy. Uh, so it is Calman verified as you can see. And if we turn the box over, here are a lot of the features of the display. So it's a 2560 by 1440 monitor. Uh, it's an IPS ultra wide viewing angle uh, panel with a 100% sRGB color accuracy and a color accuracy of Delta E less than two. It's also color calibrated from the factory and we'll take a look inside the box at the color calibration sheet that comes with the monitor. So it's a really, really awesome display, but I haven't gotten it out of the box. So we'll unbox this, get it set up on my dual vase mount setup with the Dell and take a look. So getting into the box, we have a power cord. We also get a USB connection cable and then a nice HDMI cable as well but I will be using DisplayPort. I already have a DisplayPort cable uh, coming off my gaming PC, ready for this monitor. And then taking a look inside the box. So here is the color, cal color calibration sheet that I was talking about. So as you can see, we have a gamma of 2.2 and a color accuracy average Delta E of 0.501. So really, really good panel. Uh, you can see all of the color accuracy charts shown on the display. But overall, really, really excited about getting this out of the box and set up on my vase mount. So we're not gonna be using the uh, stand that comes with the panel, but I will show you guys the stand uh, and exactly what you would expect if you were gonna use the stand on the monitor. As you can see, the monitor actually comes with the, uh, the arm connected to it already. So we'll take that off to connect it to the vase mount. Um, but then also looking inside of the box, once I get the base out, I can show you guys exactly what the base looks like and sort of what you would expect with the setup using the stand. So here is the base itself. So it's a really nice sort of brushed aluminum finish on here. Uh, it is a little bit large, but not too bad at all. So you get full swivel with the base and then you get both 90 degree rotation on the monitor full like height adjustability, uh, angle, everything that you would need if you're going to use the stand. But I'm going to take the pre-installed arm off of the back of the monitor and connect this to my VESA mount setup. Now that we have the monitor out of the box and on the desk, take a look at the IO. So you have two USB type A, another USB, uh, HDMI display port, mini display port, and some aux jacks. And then we of course have power and a power switch, but to remove our arm, what we're gonna do is press this button, try to do this with one hand, that'll lift out. And there we go. So we have our screws for our vase mount already in there. So we're gonna go ahead, get the VESA adapter. So this VESA adapter connected to the back of the monitor, and then we'll get it set up on our VESA mount with our pre-existing Dell S2719 DGF. So there we have it, looks really, really nice. I got both the monitors uh, leveled out um, and where I want them, but overall looking really, really good. And if you stay tuned for the next video, I'm going to do a full uh, 
overview of my desk setup, what desk I have, all my peripherals, things like that, uh, especially focusing on the new dual monitor vase mount, um, which just cleans the whole desk up and makes everything look really, really cool. Um, but taking a look now at the two monitors. So here we have our Asus Pro Art display monitor. And here we have our Dell S2719 DGF. Of course, a TN panel on the Dell, an IPS panel uh, color calibrated on the Asus Pro Art. And I think you guys should be able to see quite a bit of difference in this image. The darks on the Pro Art are much darker and the lights a little bit brighter. And just the overall colors are really, really nice. And this might not be the best image. So I'm gonna change up my background so you guys can see it a little bit better. So I think you should be able to see it here. The darks on the mountains, much, much darker. And the overall colors are a lot more vibrant on the Pro Art versus the Dell. And that's just a testament to IPS panels and this particular color calibrated 1440p monitor. Just a really, really nice, nice display. And just taking a quick look at some of the more in detail information. So we have 100% color uh, saturation for sRGB and Rec 709, which makes it the, you know, the pre-calibrated and really, really great image uh, for content consumption and content creation. Um, and we have response time, five milliseconds. Uh, the contrast, 1001. Peak brightness, 350 nits. So a nice, bright display, flicker free. So overall, some really, really great numbers on this display. And then taking a look at some of the presets for the display. If I go to the settings menu, you'll be able to see. So here are some of the color uh, presets. So you have standard mode, which is what I'm in right now, sRGB mode, Rec 709 mode, scenery mode, reading mode, darker mode, uh, rapid rendering mode. So some really great options depending on exactly what you're viewing or what you might be editing. And then there's also options for blue light filter. Um, of course, all of your calibrations, uh, which is pre-done out of the factory. Some other image sharpness, things like that. Of course, there is a built-in speaker. Uh, in this display, but I won't be really using that for the most part. And then we have our DVI HDMI display port, mini display port options. And we have adaptive sync and things such as that, um, that we had two USB ports on the bottom of the display. We also have two side USB ports on the display as well. So four USB ports total on this monitor, which is really, really nice. And just to give you one last look at the color difference between the Pro Art display. So here we have the Pro Art, really, really vivid colors, uh, the red on the mountain, the darkness on the top of the mountain to the right. And then looking at the Dell, just not as vivid and not as dark. And of course, that's just typical with TN panels versus IPS, much better color accuracy with an IPS panel. The one thing I will say about this monitor is I wish it didn't have such a big bottom bezel, but with the speaker and everything built in and having all of your menu buttons uh, on this front panel, uh, you kind of had to have it that way, I guess, from Asus's perspective. And I also wish, but kind of knew it was gonna happen with having two different manufacturers monitors, uh, the height just isn't matching up. And with the vase amount that I have from Amazon that only costs around $35, $40, it doesn't come with uh, height adjustment on the monitors. Uh, so have to deal with that, but it's definitely not too bad and can always get a better vase amount capable of the height adjustment. But overall, a super, super nice setup uh, that I will definitely be going over in the next video. We can also take a quick look at the viewing angle. So here is dead on. If we go up a little bit, still a really, really nice picture and clarity uh, on the display. If you go to the left, Still really, really nice. Of course, there's some glare, being that this is shot on a camera. Um, but overall, really, really nice uh, viewing angle on this monitor. And then if we take a look at the Dell TN panel, as we get high, it gets a little bit dark and the viewing angle is not as good. The color just changes a lot going left to right. Again, the color changes quite a bit versus when you're head on. But with the Pro Art, 
it's really, really nice. So yeah, super, super happy with the purchase. And after some time now using it um, and getting to actually see the color difference between the two panels and after you know editing all my videos originally on the Dell and now moving on to the Asus, um, really, really big difference. And it's just easier for me to sort of have confidence in the colors of both the footage and any images that I'm looking at on the Asus versus the Dell. Of course, the Dell is a fantastic gaming monitor and colors not too big of a deal when it comes to gaming. And you're not really gonna wanna game at 60 hertz, five milliseconds response on this panel. Um, but overall, two really, really good monitors in completely different classes, gaming versus content, but very happy with both of them. So if you guys like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about either one of these monitors, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel.